Just before going under the knife, King Charles III delivered a cut that runs deep to Prince Harry, essentially. King Charles told his son there was no coming back to London, not now, not ever. Next week, King Charles will be in the hospital. In a statement released by Buckingham Palace, it was revealed that, at the age of 75, His Majesty will have surgery for an enlarged prostate. Medical experts believe that King Charles will make a speedy recovery and be back on his feet. In no time to handle his royal duties, many wondered during the brief time that King Charles would be incapacitated. Who would be tapped to take over his royal responsibilities? The answer is the heir to the throne. Of course, Prince William, the next in line to be King of England, will step in to handle all royal business while his father deals with serious medical issues. Before the operation, King Charles made a quiet yet final move to let Prince Harry know that he could eliminate any shred of hope that he had about a reconciliation, or still having a sense of belonging in the royal family. The Duke of Sussex has chosen his wife, Meghan Markle, his two children, Archie and Lilibet, and California, and he therefore no longer has a seat at the table. Prince Harry will no longer have any involvement in any royal business and the future. King Charles made the government change the rules of who could be his counselor of state. The law now states that only working members of the royal family can step in for King Charles if he is sick or traveling in another country. That small but definitive change implies that Prince Harry and his pedophilia linked uncle, Prince Andrew, no longer really hold the status of counselor of state and will never conduct any business or engagement on behalf of the monarch. People magazine noted, Prince Harry and Prince Andrew won't be among the counselors of state that King Charles could call upon when he heads to the hospital to treat an enlarged prostate. Buckingham Palace announced on Wednesday that the king, 75, will have a corrective procedure for the benign condition next week prompting royal watchers to wonder if other family members will be tapped for additional duties in his absence. The time spotted that Prince Harry and Prince Andrew's Councillor of State eligibility was quietly nullified. Soon after King Charles' accession, no matter what life throws at King Charles, he makes the moves to protect the monarchy.